Hey, it's Jeff with Simply Derivative. Here's the daily recap video. Uh, today is Thursday, August 16th. We're taking a look here at the ES, the E-minis, the S&P 500 futures contract. Um, we can see that today we had another up day, a big up day today. Um, after the reversal from yesterday, we had come down off a nice sell-off from about 2840 down to this 2800 level, tested it again. There's this actually uh, on the 240 minute, there was this nice big green candle with a huge uh, impulse move after that, uh, which really stopped the market from going any lower yesterday. And uh, we just saw a continuation today, right from the open really, uh, to this upside up to 2850. So we bounced to 2803 and um, looks like at least short term topped out at 2851. We had this zone marked off on 240 in the 60 minute. Just looking at the price action, this is kind of where prices broke down and where we uh, we, we couldn't get any higher um, for the past three days. And then finally today it broke out of this range and uh, retested really the breakdown point um, from this upper level. You can see here on this uh, daily chart of the S&P uh, up at this all-time high bar, if you will, this bearish engulfing candle. Um, is really the zone that we were looking at and the prices had come up there after barely touching it rallied up into that area had a couple um, uh, sideways days and then a pro gap down in the opposite direction and then that goes into yesterday where we uh, looked like we had some momentum to the downside and then we came into this big round number of 2800 which was also the previous highs as well um, that we had been struggling to get out of and so tested it and bounced and uh, this morning there was a couple opportunities uh, to get long if you didn't get long yesterday uh, yesterday had some some really good opportunities down here at this 20 2803 like we stated and then there was a couple retest opportunities um, that you could have gotten on board with today really this morning it was all about this first five minutes you could have jumped on board here when it broke up the upside and you can see how we rallied up from 38.50 really up to 28.51.75 was the high uh, right into this area uh, that we were expecting some selling pressure and, and it actually uh, came and so um, that actually worked out as well. So a couple opportunities, one on the short term, one on the bigger time frame for all of the different types of traders out there. You know, we use these multiple time frames to look and filter for opportunities and uh, you know, these are just uh, several of our setups that we go to and uh, look for and um, really just focus on especially here in the ES um, this first five minute strategy worked out and you could have got the retest as well came back down to that level towards the end of the day after hitting this upper supply area upper zone up here and then had that pullback and so uh, that was the opportunities here for today other than that um, you know the VIX was down slightly the dollar was basically flat Gold is, is down below 1200 Crude is, is trying to stay above $65. So we got a couple couple things to be mindful of here going forward. Uh, it is expiration for, for August tomorrow. Uh, volatility tends to pick up uh, the second week of August going into the really first week of September, second week of September. So going to be mindful of that and see... Um, if we do in fact take these highs out and push higher or if we kind of stall out and stay within this range of 2860 to 2800 and uh, you know our range bound for the foreseeable future so a couple things to pay attention to but um, hopefully that was helpful for you guys as the recap uh, be sure to uh, check us out at simplyderivative.com hit the subscribe button on the YouTube channel and uh, stay tuned in social media we're gonna have some live streaming days here uh, coming up uh, for early morning traders uh, to trade the open here in these futures markets and the U.S. markets. And so um, stay tuned to, to our social media, and uh, we'll let you know when we're going to start doing that as well. All right, guys. Good luck. Have a good day.